roughed up last week against Florida, so it's a big week for him tonight. Let's get things underway right away. Took something off it. Strikes out Amani Larry. Mershon swings through it again. He's still under control. Gets the third strikeout, but it gets away from the catcher. Appel, he's going to have to chase it down, and there's no way he's going to throw out Dakota Jordan. 0-2 once again. Four strikeouts in the top of the first inning. Oh, and he gets a hold of this one and sends it to left field. All the way back and gone. He does have a little bit of pop in that bat. It's extremely difficult to get on the field nowadays as a freshman, but Gavin Grohovac has no problem. By perfect game, he was one of the top ten outfielders in the country in high school last year. He's only a freshman. Remember, he played third base today, but man, has he got a lot of pop. Seventh home run for Gavin gets a fastball, actually a slider out over the plate. It looked like it's on the outside corner. He goes out, reaches for it, gets a good barrel on it. He doesn't get too low, stays in the moment. How about that? Sierra, not afraid to go inside on Montgomery. And uh, powerful offense, um, but wow, that series, is, they, they put a lot of numbers up on LSU. The conference last year, 0-7, so that's why winning two games against LSU this first weekend was big for them. Physically as well. Uh, you know, and try to be too fast to get the guy. So Cup comes in to bunt him over and does an outstanding job on the first pitch. To right field, this one's going to get down. Long's coming home. Here comes the throw, and he's safe. That's exactly what he does here. Off the third baseman's glove, and he can't find it. The Hovac couldn't find it. Short left field coming in, can't make the play. Now Shottle loses footing because of the rain. He wasn't going to get Mershon anyway, but a two out, two strike, RBI single puts Mississippi State on top. He sends it to right field. Playable, and Braid Montgomery makes the play. Hovac wanted that one. Sierra just pulled the string. It's going off your shin at about 101. And this time, Prager comes with the fastball, and after those two off-speed pitches. Wow, completely handcuffed him with that inside fastball. He's retired 12 in a row. When he had that big inning, he was ahead of everybody, 0-2-1-2. That's usually what he does. Now, that was not something that we, nor the hoodie, nor the, nor the, that slider again. Gets him. Prager comes out. You heard Coach Schlossnagel say this is a big inning. Yeah. Well, we, we, talk, we talked about the changeup being affected. This would be a good spot right here. Burton sends it right up the middle. And as a hitter, you had to look to left field or you had no chance. Well, that's where Johnny Long was set up. Caught too much of the plate, though. And back-to-back -back base hits. Gets away from the catcher. It's ball four. Long gives chase. and Up the middle. Isaac back. Can't make the play. One run will score. They'll lay him home a sack. No, they'll keep him at third. Now we got a run down, and everybody gets back as no one was covering first base for Mississippi State. Got him swinging. That's a big strikeout for Stevens as we go to the top of this order. Hits this one deep to left field. That's a Corbin copy from his first inning home run, but this one's a grand slam. Doubter for the leadoff hitter Gavin Grohovac. Remember, only a freshman. I mean, that ball is 
stung as far as you can hit it for the freshman. And wow, what a difference one inning makes. Two base hits, a walk, a base hit. <laughs> I was wondering where you went. It's too much. And now they're staked with this 6 2 lead. Stevens goes back up there, right up the middle for a base hit. Jackson Apple. It's this one hard. A shortstop could be two. Over to second for one. And they turn it. 50 runs in the last four games, and that's including the three game series with LSU. Now he's trying to bunt one on and just put it right in the right spot. Gets on. He'll start attacking the inside with a fastball at 95. Monty does go the other way and just sends a little number to right field. That'll get down for a base hit, and Long will make his way to third base. So a little something going here with two outs. Got him. That inside slider. Hines lifts this one to left field. Will it carry enough? It will. Hines continues his recent toward streak with a home run himself, cutting this AM lead to three. That's a place to hit it left field for Hunter Hines. And one of the best active home run hitters for career playing in college baseball. Pops one out of the four spot to left field. And if you're going to be a big home run hitter, you got to be able to hit it the other way as well. He gets a hold of one. Down the left field line. That'll go for extra bases. And roll into second base with a stand-up double. And you just got to be able to, like you've always heard baseball, hit it where it's pitched. Gets away from Appel. Got him. Hits that one hard in the hole on the left side. Got him picked off, and they'll get him at second base. So for the second time tonight. To left field, that's going to drop for a base hit in front of shot. You got to make sure that he goes to the play. Don't get picked off or do anything silly. Up up the middle, this could be two. One and two. Grounder to second base. Targuys throws him out, and Texas A&M has taken the opener.